for another video in the weekly money multiplier and lotto x quick training video series this video is on how to uh, spot a pattern within the tps system and what that might look like we've already covered um, tps means trend pattern squeeze we've uh, the previous video talked about um, spotting a trend and how to validate that that trend um, is good and bullish and in this particular video, we're going to talk about the pattern we're looking for and uh, how to spot that within a bullish uptrend. The ticker we're going to look at at the moment is Stitch Fix. This is one we've been playing for uh, a while here in uh, Weekly Money Multiplier and Lotto X. It is in a uptrend here on the daily, as you can see. It has a very high short interest, so um, when it moves up, it likes to move a lot on those short squeezes. And so we're going to find a pattern within this uh, uptrend, uh, the pattern that we typically play in these Lotto X and weekly money, multi weekly money multiplier plays. So if uh, we take a look at Stitch Fix on a 78-minute um, chart, we're going to start to see this pattern uh, emerge. If I think we're looking at this mostly on the uh, hourly chart or the 30 minute chart, and we're starting to see this pattern of up, pullback, consolidation at these averages, and of course a squeeze. But right now we're looking at the pattern. So we've got a spike up. This is on a 30 minute chart within a bullish uptrend here on the daily with high short interest, which we'll talk about in another video. And we're getting what Nate likes to call the woodpecker pattern. Um, we have a spike up, a pullback, a consolidation here near the averages, right? And so what that begins to look like is the shape of a woodpecker. Now, Stitch Fix in this particular case has a trend, it has a pattern, and it has a squeeze. Although if we were playing the 30 minute chart, we missed our entry uh, towards the end of the day here uh, as it's already up. It's uh, kind of uh, hitting this re resistance mark here at uh, 2273. Uh, so it may pull back and give us another opportunity for an entry, or it may go on and go ahead without us. Uh, but this is what a pattern looks like, a spike up, a, a pullback, a consolidation near the averages, specifically near the 21. Um, and that's where we would be taking an entry. So for instance, if we go look at Masi. This is another one that came up recently in, uh, in the room. We're on the hourly. In the previous video, we established this was absolutely in a bullish uptrend. We have our spike up. This 258 is the high, the all-time high. We have our spike up. We have our pullback. And we have our consolidation near the averages. Again, this is going to look like the woodpecker. Just like this, here's the beak. Consolidation near those averages. Right, there's the pattern we're looking for. Pop up, pull back, consolidation near the averages. Um, let's look at a uh, ticker that does not have uh, that sort of pattern. Okay, we're looking at Starbucks, okay? We don't see a pattern forming here on the 78. We have a little bit of an up, but this chart is kind of all over the place. We might be able to find a squeeze on a certain time frame, but what we're what we're looking for is this up consolidation and squeeze. So let's look at the 15 minute here on Delta Airlines. This is in a bit of a bullish uptrend, but as you can see, the, the, the ticker is all over the place, aside from the action that happened today. Up, 
pullback, consolidation, and look, we are forming a little bit of a squeeze. Uh, on a shorter time frame like the 15 minute, this fits our pattern. Uh, however, if we wanna go back out and talk about trend again, is Delta Airlines in a bullish trend? Absolutely not. This is it on the daily. Of course, we're dealing with uh, the COVID-19 crisis right now. Uh, and so any travel stocks, airline stocks are, are getting beat down. Uh, this is not in a bullish uptrend. On the 15 minute, it could be a nice play, uh, maybe an overnight swing that we were just looking at, but uh, it doesn't fit our trend and our pattern uh, in this particular case. So you may have one without the other, but you always wanna make sure you have trend first, then pattern, this woodpecker pattern that we're talking about, and a squeeze. We love the woodpecker pattern to be under all time highs. If we go back out to Mossy, we're looking at a pattern under all time highs, on the hourly chart, the 258 is the all-time high. The, the chance that this is gonna break up and go through 260 to new highs is, is extremely probable, and that's why we like to play these. Uh, if you have any questions on the pattern, please leave them in the comments below, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can.